Hello, welcome to the Storybook Test Early Access Program. Uh, we're so glad you're here and thank you so much for taking some time to um, play around with the brand new Storybook Test add-on and improve it uh, with your bug reports and feature ideas. And we're just looking forward to talking with you and um, getting to test some components. So I'm Kyle. I am a DX engineer on the Storybook team. And I'm gonna walk you through getting started with the Storybook test add-on and just kind of a quick overview of what it is and how you'll be able to use it in your project. So first things first, um, let's just walk through what this project is. So I've got a demo project here. Um, it's built with React and Vite. So it's using the React Vite Storybook framework. And um, it is on Storybook 8.4 and that, um, that is necessary to use um, 8.4 newer are necessary to use Storybook the test add-on. So there I am. And then um, over here, I've got the docs for the test add-on open. And so we're gonna walk through the installation steps. So if you scroll down here, we've got install and setup. It spells out the prerequisites and I am using Vite, so it looks like I'm good. Um, this project does not currently use Vtest. Um, but the add-on will set that up for me, which we'll see in a second. And so I'm gonna do this automatic setup. So I'm gonna take this command here, copy it, and run it in my terminal. And this is going to run through uh, some steps for me automatically, which are spelled out in the manual setup here, but let's watch the terminal. So it's running the installation helper, and which that helper detected that I'm using the add-on interactions package and the Storybook test add-on replaces that. And so it's gonna to offer to remove and unregister that. And so to that prompt, I'm gonna answer yes. Now it's gonna install vtest, uh, vtest browser mode and playwright for me. Uh, it's gonna create a setup file for vtest and a project workspace file for vtest. And we'll look at those in detail in just a minute. And then it's done. Um, we can make sure that it worked with this command here. Uh, so MPX vtest, and then filter it down to this storybook project. So I'm gonna run that now. And what this is doing behind the scenes is um, with the configuration that that command added, it is now able to transform all of my storybook stories. Uh, I have 10 of those in this project and it'll transform them into vtest tests so that you can run them using vtests or if you even have the um, vtest extension for your editor, like VS Code, uh, you can run your stories as tests there too. Um, all right, so it looks like everything passed, that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and quit that. And then I just wanted to walk through in detail what that did. So let's start with package.json. Um, so it prompted me to remove add-on interactions. I said yes, and so it did remove that. It added the experimental add-on test package. Um, it added packages for vtest browser mode, playwright, and vtest itself. So that looks great. Um, in the storybook configuration, it removed add-on interactions from being registered and registered the experimental add-on test, which is perfect. Also in that storybook directory, it added this setup file, and this is necessary so that when the stories are transformed into tests, it takes into account um, some configuration that you might have set at the project level. So in your preview.js or preview.ts file, uh, you might have some decorators or loaders um, that need to be applied to all of your stories. This makes sure that vtest is able to grab those. And finally, it'll add a vtest configuration. In this case, it added a workspace file. And the main thing that it's doing is it's extending my vt config and then it's running this storybook test plugin, which comes from the add-on test package. And that is where the magic happens. That's what actually does the transformation to make your stories into tests. And then in this case, um, we highly recommend that you use browser mode and playwright and Chromium for the browser. Um, okay, so that's all running. Um, why don't we run our storybook? All 
All right, so we've got our storybook. I'm gonna expand the sidebar here. Um, it's a fairly simple story. Uh, I used um, Shadsian's UI uh, library to add a calendar date picker thing here. And that has some, oh, this story rather, has a play function that runs through these steps. Um, you'll notice this down in the sidebar. So that's what the test add-on um, adds to your storybook uh, UI. We call this the test module. Uh, depending on whether or not you're using the visual test add-on, you may or may not see this line here. Um, but the test add-on will add component tests to the test module. And I can click this button to run everything, but I'm just gonna click this to run just component tests. And so you can see over here in my terminal that it's doing the exact same thing as the vtest CLI command ran that I ran just a bit ago. It's doing all of that behind the scenes for me. It took about two seconds to, uh, and now we have status indicators on all of our stories here showing that everything passed. You can also turn on watch mode here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna come over here to my editor and open those calendar stories. I'm just gonna make an arbitrary change to my play function here so to get a failure. And so as soon as I save, VTest's watch mode is gonna run behind the scenes, which knows that it only needs to rerun that one test. So that's what it did. And now I have an error. And I can see the error here, or if I have too many errors or just a big sidebar or something, I can click the error and that'll filter my sidebar down to only show those stories with errors. And so now I can either click on this to view the story directly, or I can click on component tests and that would have navigated to the story and opened component tests for me. And just like the interactions add-on worked before, you get very clear information on exactly which step uh, that failed on. I can go back and I can step by step through it until I get to the error, if that's helpful for my debugging. In this case, I'm the one that made the error, so I know exactly how to fix it. And as soon as I click save, it's gonna rerun, and now it's working again. And you'll see that because there are no errors, that filter turned off, and so all of my sidebar is once again visible. So that's uh, the test add-on uh, as it is today. Um, we're still building it out and we are going to do that with your help. And we're here to help you too. So if this um, onboarding didn't go as smoothly as the video or if you just have any other issues, um, go ahead and hop in that Discord and we're here to help and we'd love to talk with you. Thank you once again for being part of the program and have a great almost weekend. Bye.